Hi everyone, this is Sly with the Ganon's Castle Master Quest Routing Tutorial. In this tutorial we will be getting the 12 chests, 1 freestanding item, 5 scrubs in this dungeon, and also clearing the 6 trials. So to start off with, you can store a hammer attack here, and then just crouch stab these guys. Uh, you can also hit them with nuts and jump slashes, or shoot them with arrows. Then we're going to fight these armos with jump slashes. And then this iron knuckle. Now if you're playing with scrub sanity, you're going to want to come down here and grab the five scrubs in this dungeon, which is one more than it is in the vanilla game. And this one just happened to have one of my three keys needed. And there's the second key. Now from here you want to choose uh, the trials to do based on what items you have. Um, so the order I'm going to go in here is uh, just around the room, uh, starting at spirit. Um, so uh, in this room, uh, you can jump slash a hammer switch through the thrones here. Um, I turn around because it's really easy to target some enemies in this room, so turning around makes that easier. So you just need hammer for this first check here. Oops, not close enough. Uh, for the second check, you're gonna need to drop a chew here, and it does have to be on the right wall there in order to hit the uh, switch on the ceiling. So immediately, uh, you want to start crouch stabbing here. So you can hit that guy. And then get this chest. Now the next four chests require fire arrows and mirror shield. So we're going to fight these guys. And we need to use fire arrows to uh, open this up, unlike the vanilla game where you could actually just use uh, arrows and use a torch in the other room. So now there are chests on the four corners uh, here. So I'm going to go ahead and open those up. This is where strength three is in the, uh, in the vanilla Master Quest game. Then I'll just open up these four chests. And then in order to clear this trial, the only other item you're going to need is light arrows. And you open up this final door with the mirror shield right there. So all in all, there are six chests in Spirit Trial. Next, we're going to do Forest Trial, which has two chests and a freestanding item. In order to get that freestanding item, all you need is Hookshot. So we'll take out these Stalfos in order to advance to the next room. And then Hookshot up to this torch. It's worth noting that you don't actually need to fight those Stelphos in order to get this, um, but it'll be convenient. Uh, we have to wait for the fan to finish spinning anyway, so if you're quick enough, you don't need to wait the second time, but it kind of all depends on the fight. And there's the freestanding item. So for the next two chests, uh, you need bow and a fire source. Um, I'll just equip fire arrows and get both of them. So the second chest requires a uh, you to shoot an arrow into this target and the third chest requires you to use a fire source to uh, hit this eye switch 
Um, so either fire arrows or you could cross to the other side of the room and use dins to get it. So you can hover over to this other chest uh, or you can wait for the fan to start blowing and jump across. Which is pretty fun to do. You can stun Beemos with uh, nuts which makes this convenient. Uh, and obviously after getting that second chest, uh, if you are not intending to clear forest trial, then you would just leave at this point. Uh, otherwise, um, we need to uh, play Song of Time here. Um, so you'll need Song of Time and Light Arrows in order to finish off this trial. And because this is Master Quest, you have to play it twice. Super convenient. But yeah, I think the intended place you were supposed to stand for these blocks was where that Beemos currently is. Um, but it's just so much more convenient put, uh, doing it from this spot because uh, the fan isn't there blowing you. Uh, Forest has uh, a heart or a rupee on the left and magic on the right if you need it. So the next trial we're going to do is Water Trial. Um, you do not need a key to get the first chest, but you do need a key to clear it. Um, there's a trick you could do here with hovers in order to grab the blue fire. Uh, coming out of this first blue fire, uh, you're going to want to catch a second one if you have a second bottle. So you want to hold down and mash your other bottle. Um, and then here, uh, you could use a blue fire on that, or you can just roll right through the red ice and uh, get this first chest. And uh, something to note is that the correct way to... Oops. <laughs> the correct way to lower that water pillar, uh, if you don't have hovers, is to slash a switch through the wall. But you do have to contend with this annoying hand. So moving on, uh, we're going to use our first blue fire bottle here, and... Uh, use our key to clear this trial. So this next room we're going to do without pushing any blocks. First of all, you want to come down here and get the silver rupee. Obviously, if you were push pushing blocks, you would want to make sure to get that before pushing a block down there. Then we're going to go ahead and get the silver rupee. You don't need hovers to do it. Then we're going to face this wall, and when we drop the blue fire, uh, our arm is going to extend into the wall, which makes us melt the red ice at the top. Uh, this next rupee is easiest to grab with hovers. Getting hit by invisible keys is always fun. And now we're going to do a trick to avoid the block pushing puzzle. You stand approximately here and face approximately this direction. Then we're going to roll close to the edge and hold up left in order to grab it. Your camera tends to go crazy here, so make sure you Z-target before moving. And then we're going to jump slash this red ice in order to get the silver rupee, which saves you having to go back to get an extra blue fire. Then just drop down and get that last silver rupee, and we will finish off this trial. Uh, so there are arrows here on the right, uh, and hearts on or rupees on the left if you need them. We'll equip our light arrows and finish that trial. So coming up next is the most complicated trial, which is Shadow Trial. You're going to want to have bow and uh, lands in order to do this trial, um, but it is possible to clear it without those items. Uh, that being said, if you don't have bow, you can't get the second chest in the trial. Uh, and both chests are... Um, log the second chest you logically need lens to get, and the first one you might need lens to get, and I'll explain that soon. So first of all, let's uh, equip bow here. So with bow, you can shoot this bomb flower from here, uh, and that is the easiest way to get the first chest. Uh, you can 
hookshot over there or roll with hovers. However, it is also possible to blow up that bomb flower um, by heading over there via invisible platform uh, and picking up with strength, using explosives to blow it up, or um, using dins. Um, so uh, navigating this um, invisible platform is pretty difficult without lens, but I'm going to show you how to do it. But first I'm going to head out of this trial in order to reset the room. So immediately entering the room, we want to roll twice and then jump slash and then roll onto the platform. Um, it's really hard to keep track of this platform, so resetting the room is the easiest way to nail it every time. Uh, the trick with the jump slash is fairly difficult. It's easy to miss a bunch of times, so that'll take practice. Um, here, we roll to this one. Um, if you're on an early cycle, uh, you can use the BMOS as a point of reference here to roll back. You want to wait for it to be facing right, and then roll. Almost missed it, too. Uh, and then from here, we just want to get close enough to get onto this platform and get the silver rupee in here. Now, using a fire source uh, to light this torch will cause a platform to appear here, uh, which you can use if you don't have um, if you don't have hovers. Uh, and if you don't have a fire source, you can actually still light this torch by um, shooting an arrow through the torch at the entrance and hitting this. But since we have hovers, we'll just uh, head to the next platform. I'm gonna stun those guys real quick and miss. Awesome. So yeah, this trial really sucks. <laughs> Let me just reset the room and uh, do this again. Uh, yeah, getting these silver rupees over again really sucks. Cool. It is possible to get to this platform without the hovers as well. Um, obviously, it'll be a bit more difficult. Um, so we're going to wait for this BMOS to face right again. Land on the platform. Grab the silver rupee. Yeah, let's get a good running start this time. Alright, two rolls and we make it over here. Then, as I said, the second chest is hard arrow bow locked. Um, so we'll get that. And then stun the Beamos again. Then we're going to roll to this platform. Uh, it's possible to get there via invisible walkway. Um, and I will show a video of me doing that. Or I'll link one the, in the description. Um, I'm just waiting for the Beamos on the platform to not be facing me so I don't get hit immediately. Okay. And then we want to stun this guy um, by waiting for him to face this direction, then hitting the wall there. Then we want to roll to the silver rupee. And take off your boots immediately when you hit it so that your momentum doesn't take you off the platform. Uh, and then the invisible platform heads up this direction um, with hovers on. Uh, it's fairly easy. Um, without hovers, you might fall off. Um, so. Definitely this trial takes some practice. It is super difficult. Uh, and there is always a big magic meter there on the on the left, which is nice. And we'll just use light arrows to finish off this trial. So the next trial we're gonna do is fire trial. This one has no checks in it, and it is pretty Monka S. If you are fast enough, you can get your hovers on and roll on top of that one without jump slashing, which ends up being faster. Um, but I got the wrong angle. For this silver rupee, wait for it to get to the top, and then you can either hovers, backflip, or jump slash to get it. If you have hovers, you can come this way, which ends up being faster. Uh, but if you don't have hovers, then you want to go to the other strength three pillar in this room first. It is possible to finish this trial without hovers.
Um, but that logically requires long shot. Uh, it is possible to do this without long shot with just hook shot, but that's not logically. That's not in the logic. So we're gonna get this silver rupee and then go and get the last one. I'm gonna wait here a little bit just to make sure that the other platform will be there. So I don't fall. And then pick up the strength three pillar. And get the last silver rupee. If you have long shot, you can quickly long shot this. If you don't have long shot, you can hover over to this strength three pillar again and just hover over from there. Uh, also, if you just have hook shot, this isn't in logic, but you can do a fairly precise setup where you stand on the edge there and uh, long shot or hook shot this portion of the pillar. Uh, and there is magic again in the left pot. And that's fire trial down. So last we have light trial. Obviously you'll need strength three in order to get in there. And unfortunately, unlike the vanilla game, this trial only has one check in it which only requires the L to get. So you just have to fight those guys and then play ZL here for one check. Now in this next room, you'll need hook shot in order to uh, hook shot here. And then you can roll towards the door. And hopefully that guy doesn't see you. Um, however, uh, if you don't have hook shot, um, it's po there's a firewall down here uh, that you have to get around. And it is possible to side hop past it, so I'll show that. And then from here, you just slash this here in order to hit a crystal switch. And then use light arrows to finish up the trial. So once again, uh, light trial just has one chest in it. Uh, in order to clear, you need two keys, uh, either hook shot or a well-placed side hop and lights. And now we head up to Ganon's tower. And Ganon's tower is the exact same as the vanilla game, so I will leave it off there. Thanks for watching.